what's up everyone once again in today's video we're going to be having a look at iota as well as bitcoin and dra veracity iota exploded yesterday absolutely took off let's have a look on the daily time frame real quick on the seven day this was a uh, iota right here um since september 2nd we are actually september 3rd right now and it absolutely took off up 14 percent 13 and a half uh traded at one dollar and 55 cents we got 241,000 on the watch list that's just on the watch list guys so we got a fair and pretty big community it is actually on the binance smart chain which is quite interesting and uh market cap guys look at that we got a market cap of 4.3 billion so before we get into the ta let's have a look at bitcoin guys can we see break bitcoin essentially break out after this massive consolidation or not massive but we've been consolidating for quite some time right now between the 46,000 and uh, I would say the 50,000. Are we seeing a breakout on Bitcoin? Will this be the day that Bitcoin finally breaks out and continues to the 60, 70, perhaps even 100,000 region, guys? Can Bitcoin go to $100,000 before the end of the year? I say yes, I think it's possible. Before anything, guys, none of this is financial advice, so always do your own research and due diligence. Let's have a look and dive in into the moving averages, okay? So first of all, on the moving average, we are still above the 200 moving average which is fantastic okay we haven't broken below that and i did mention that if we were to break below that then it would be bearish okay we still haven't broken below that another thing is we are right now approaching the golden cross guys if the 50 moving average manages to cross over the 200 this will be a golden cross this will be very very beautiful the last time we saw a golden cross was approximately right here it was the 22nd of may guys the 22nd of may 2020 um this was the covid crash right here when everyone panicked and then after that we saw a nice little death cross and then followed by a, a bull cross or a golden cross now this was little now imagine if we see another golden cross right here where can bitcoin go can we be in another bear market uh for two three years perhaps even 10 years can this be a 10-year bear market guys in my opinion i say yes and i'll tell you why this right here was a small bear market okay i don't think okay i still think that all of this right here is still in a bull market and i've been saying it since the start that that the the, the bull market is gonna last 10 years and i've been saying it since uh the, the january the beginning of the year i said it essentially you guys can go back to my videos um i said that we are going to be ready and be entering a 10-year bear market i mean bull market a lot of people thought i was exaggerating but i am not exaggerating um let's have a look at the exponential moving averages real quick we are still floating above the exponential moving average we got little three little touches right here things are looking very very fantastic uh on the daily time frame in my opinion if we manage to close above the 50,000, things will be very good and we should be making a move towards 60 65,000, and perhaps the all-time highs right here at 64,202 exactly let's dive in into iota right now on the daily time frame we saw this massive 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 short squeeze okay massive okay this thing pumped like crazy guys um i mean we had a nice little uh, resistance right here we broke through it like butter we had another one right here broke to it like butter and now um now essentially we're uh, essentially retesting this region right now uh, currently traded right now at $1.54 as I mentioned earlier and uh, these are very important level now in my opinion I wouldn't be surprised if we come back here retest a 1.4 guys make sure you don't FOMO into coins of course uh, especially when they explode like this look at this in a, in a couple of days we're just up 60 60 percent which is insane guys it's beyond insane to be up like that in like 24 hours 30 hours so this is why it's very important not to fall into the coin because there's going to be a slight correction soon and if you are playing with leverage um then i would be uh i would be very very careful if you're uh playing with leverage because um this is not you know always good of course so um but yeah i mean this region looks pretty pretty healthy to come back to 1.42 um can we come back to 1.2 cents that's very very possible anywhere between this region is very possible 1.43 1.2 cent is um indeed possible to come back to um let's have a look on the shorter time frame on the one hour time frame so on the one hour time frame we are seeing uh th things are looking good we did get a, a nice little rebound off that area so as you guys can see this is the trend line right here um this resistance flip support and one two so we had a nice uh, two little touches if we manage to break below that i think we're probably going to come back down uh you know to at least 1.42 so guys make sure you're not over leveraging yourself because that could be assuming you're playing with 10x leverage that's a 60 percent loss and you don't want to be doing this especially with altcoins you don't want to be trading 
high leverage with altcoins, 2, 3x maximum. Let's dive in into VRA, guys. VRA has been fantastic. I mean, look at this growth. Cons growth, consolidation, growth. That's on the one hour, of course. Let's have a look on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, okay, can we see, was this a massive, massive cup and handle right here? Perhaps, perhaps not. In my opinion, we're going to have to come at least up to five cents in order to see that nice little cup again. Uh, because if we have a look on the weekly time frame, it's not really a cup and handle. Um, it is an inverted cup and handle if I look at it right here, but that doesn't really count. So in my opinion, if we see something like this, because this is a nice little cup, we come back all the way and then see something like that. Come back all the way to five cents and go all the way to 3.84 cents and then pop back up. We could have the biggest, biggest, biggest cup and handle, not ever, but I don't want to exaggerate, but a huge, huge target to uh, approximately... 10 cents guys that's a 10 cent target for vra veracity so if you guys bought right here i mentioned my video a few a couple months ago a few weeks ago whatever it was i've been mentioning to you know accumulate vra because these are the coins that you want to be accumulating um if you go on my crypto dose and you type in if you go on youtube and type in crypto dose you're gonna go back and see all the videos i made on vra veracity and i did mention at one and a half cent to get into this guys Okay, so assuming you got it at one and a half cent, which is approximately right here, you would have been a whooping, you would have been up a whooping 200%. So, and assuming right now it goes up to 10 cents, you could be up 400, 500, 600%, depending on where you bought around that region. Um, VRA is looking very, very, very healthy, a nice little grow. Um, we're seeing pumps, we're seeing corrections. Um, the trend is your friend, as you guys know, until it bends. Um, but the growth is nice. It's not parabolic in one line. Anyways, guys, if you guys like this video, of course, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.